This week we're talking about ratios in the media. And by media we mean your screen. So this is like screen sizes. These days our TVs and our screens all look kind of like this. They're kind of long and skinny. Back long time ago, which you may or may not have seen at your grandparents or great grandparents' houses, the TVs looked a little bit more like this. They weren't as wide and they were a little bit taller. Well, that's all interesting and you're like, I really don't care, it's way too early for that. But really, this is a big deal. And it's a big deal for lots of reasons. But one of the reasons is that when, when companies are putting out movies, like say you're going to watch something on Netflix, it has to be formatted a certain way, otherwise it won't show up on your screen. So if you're a company like Netflix or Amazon or Hulu or, or any of the movies com movie producing companies right now, you need to know, you need some way of, of formatting all of your movies so that they'll show up on people's screens. As it turned out, there is something like that, and it's called aspect ratio. So what aspect ratio is, this is the comparison of the width to the height of your screen. So like if this is your width and this is your height, then you write it like this. You write it width and then colon and then height. So these days, the common aspect ratio is 16 to 9. So this would be 16 to 9. Let me move this part right here over. Okay, so this one, I'm just going to say AR, is 16 to 9. Long time ago, on these other move, on these other screens, it was different. In this case, it used to be 4 to 3. So this is a 4 to 3 aspect ratio. And um, that's very important because if you try to play a movie that's formatted for 4 to 3 on a 16 by 9, it turns out all funky looking. So like, let's say you have your 16 to 9. And it's not, this isn't, this is like a comparison thing. We're going to look at it in a second. This doesn't mean that your screen has to be 16 inches by 9 inches. This is a comparison. It's like a fraction. We'll look at it. So... If you try to play a movie that was formatted for 4 to 3 on a 16 by 9, you end up with something like this. So you either get a picture within a picture, and then you have like the little, um, the little boxes on either side, like this. And it'll like be grayed out. Or you get how they did it when they first transitioned. When they first transitioned, everybody still had the 4 to 3. Like every th everybody was still producing things in 4 to 3, but the screens were now 16 to 9, and so they stretched it, and so... All the people looked like really, really short and squat, and when they would walk, their legs looked like 10 feet long. It was, it was disturbing. But okay, so let's talk about this 16 by 9. So let's say you have a TV, and it's a 16 to 9 aspect ratio, and you go, okay, well, I mean, that's stupid because my TV is a 55 inch. Okay. So when you see the size of your TV, like if you go to the store and you're going to buy a TV, they're all listed, they have one measurement, right? Like 55 inches or 70 inches or 42 inches or whatever. That is not, like, when I first started looking at it, I was like, oh, okay, so that means it's 55 inches wide. But that's not true. It's tricky. They're tricking us. When they give you 55 inches, they're really telling you the diagonal of your screen. So that means this measure right here is 55 inches which is great, but if you're trying to fit it in your living room, um, you kind of need to know more of the width, but anyway, we'll get to that. So they're really giving you this. So the TV size is given by the diagonal. 16 to 9 is like a scaled up, that's your, that's your aspect ratio. So this is a 16 to 9 aspect ratio, 55 inch diagonal. Well, what if we need to know the width? Well, that becomes a problem, right? Like, usually it's not even listed on the display when you're going to the store looking for TV. Sometimes they'll be listed on the box, but sometimes the boxes aren't available to look at, or sometimes they're big and you can't turn them around and find that. Well, we can calculate this. Never fear, we're in AQR. We can do this. So what we're going to actually do is we're going to look at this as a similar triangle. So we're going to look at just half of this screen for right now. It doesn't matter which half, just any half. I'm going to look at this one down here just because that way I don't have an upside down triangle. So if I draw my triangle, so let's say that's my triangle. I'm gonna move this over a little bit. 
on this triangle, I know that this is a right angle, even though it doesn't look like this in my picture. I know that this is 55 inches. But what I need to know is I need to know my height and my width. So let me put that in a different color. So I want my width and I want my height. That I don't know. But what I do know is I know the aspect ratio. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my triangle. I'm going to copy this over and shrink it. I'm going to consider this as what's known as a similar triangle. So I know it's been a long time since you were in geometry. A similar triangle just means that the angles are the same. So this one is the same as this one. This one is the same as this one. And they both have 90 degrees. What's different is that you're multiplying the lengths of the sides. We're not multiplying the area directly. We're multiplying the lengths of the sides. So you're going to multiply it by the same number. So if it was a 2, then we'd multiply everything by a 2. We're going to call this the scale factor. So if we take all of the sides of the small one, we multiply each of those by the scale factor, we get this bigger triangle. So we're going to use that to, to figure that out. So for the little triangle, we already know stuff, right? We know this is 16. We know this is 9. We're going to use that to then figure out what these widths and heights are. Let me change this bottom 16 to a red so the colors will be the same. Oops. So this is a 16. So the first thing we have to do is we have to find this scale factor. Well, the way we do this is we use what we know. So on the big triangle, we know this one, this 55 right here, but we don't know the other two. Well, if you only know one side in a triangle and we don't know any of the angles except for the right angle, then we can't really do much. On this other triangle, though, we know the 16 and we know the 9. So we know two of the sides, and it's a right triangle. So then we can apply our, our good old friend Pythagoras. We can use the Pythagorean theorem to find out what our diagonal is. If we have the diagonal, then we have two similar sides, right? Because we have this one and this one. They're similar. So if we know similar sides, we can figure out what we're multiplying to get from C to 55. So that's what we're going to do next. We're going to apply our Pythagorean theorem, which we've been doing already anyway. But we remember that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. In this case, we know our a and we know our b. We just don't know our c, right? So let me. I'm going to shrink this all a little bit because I wrote too big. Running out of room. I tend to do that a lot. Okay. So this is going to be 16 squared plus 9 squared equals c squared. Well, 16 squared, I think, is 256. Let me grab my calculator. 9 squared, I know, is 81. So I have 256 plus 81. Equals c squared. So that gives me 337. Equals c squared. So, but I want C, right? I don't want C squared. So to get C, I just square root both sides. And my C value then is 18 point something, let's see. That will be 18 point, we'll call it 3, 6. I'm just going to round up a little bit. Okay, so I can come back here and I can put that here. 18.36. Okay, so our next step then is we need to compare. We're going to compare our 18.36 and our 55. That's going to give us our, say, our scale factor. And the scale factor is what we're multiplying to get to the bigger triangle. So, okay, our scale factor, we're dividing similar sides. So we have a 55. We have an 18.36. So if I divide those, I get 2.9956. So I'm going to call it 2.996. Normally, since I rounded the other one to two decimals, I would keep two decimals on this one, but I don't want to round all the way up to three. Okay, so that's my scale factor. So then now, all we have to do then is we take the sides that we know, and we multiply them by our scale factor, and that will give us the ones that we don't know. So our width is going to be our scale factor, so 2.996.
times what we do know. What we do know is a 16. So if we multiply those, then we get 2.996 times 16 is 47.94. Uh, so then we know that our width here is 47.94 inches. So now we just do the same thing with the height. Well, so our height, we know that again, we multiply our scale factor. So we go 2.996 and we're multiplying that times nine. And that gives us 26.96. So this is 26.96 inches. So now I know what kind of a space I need for my TV. If I needed to know the area then, like some of the questions on the worksheet ask for your area, then you just take those two and you multiply them because now we're just dealing with a rectangle.